Steve Lloyd is here today, and I've heard you talk about the Zane train before, but now I actually know what you're referring to. Yeah, he's probably the best wrestler I've ever covered. He started at Lion Mountain, obviously wrestled at Penn State. He's a great kid, Lisa. Well, Zane Rutherford is a grinder on the wrestling mats and now looking for Olympic gold at the Paris Games next summer. After gaining a world title last month, he's been an eagle, a tiger, and Nittany Lion. Now he represents Team USA. Zane Rutherford is back at home in Benton celebrating his first senior wrestling title, beating Iran's Amir Mohammed Yazdani Chirati 8-5 at the World Championships in Belgrade, Serbia back in September. Wrestling for Team USA, this is Rutherford's first time at the top of the podium after taking silver in 2022. It means a lot. You know, it was, uh, I think it was an adult dream of mine too. You know, I've been to a few world championships where I came back without any hardware and finally be able to do it was really rewarding. Rutherford joins David Taylor and Vito Arugia, who also won gold medals at the world championships. Training begins soon for the U.S. Olympic trials in April of 2024. That takes place at the Bryce Jordan Center on the campus of Penn State University. Home for Rutherford, who was a two-time NCAA national champion for the Lions and a two-time Hodge Trophy winner, named the best wrestler in the country back in 2017 and 18. Yeah, the Olympic trials are in April. They're in State College. Pennsylvania right where we're living right now so that's what's next and looking forward to that. To get to Penn State and finish 95 and 3 in his career Rutherford had to grind it out in the wrestling rooms first at Lion Mountain and then at Benton where he won two state titles between those two schools finishing with an overall record of 131 and 3 in his career. Greatest moment moment of Benton just being around the people I think I had some some awesome teammates that Lifelong friends and coaches, you know, Russ Hughes and Scotty Hughes are lifelong friends. And uh, yeah, I think those are my greatest memories of just spending time around those guys and, you know, enjoying the sport. Representing the U.S. at another World Championship was a lot of fun. My whole family got to come out and watch. So it was just an enjoyable year.